So I don't really know much about this story at all, but I just kind of think Elon Musk wants to buy Twitter in the end of the day at about $20 a share. The original offer, I think, was about $56. Let's ask someone who knows, David Bonson, managing director of the Bonson Group. All right, David, uh, what's going on here? Elon, I think he wants to buy it at 20 that's just my view, but I don't know anything. Uh, so they're in contract at oh, 54. The stock's trading at 35. There's no way they let him have it at 20. <laughs> no way. Uh, every one of those board members would be sued to you know this part of the Atlantic Ocean. Here's the thing. Um, he definitely wants a better deal. Mm -hmm. uh, the stock crashed right after the deal. All of these social media tech companies crashed. Uh, he's got a tough contract. I don't think that court in Delaware can make him buy it. Mm. They can give revenue that's like a few hundred million for some deals. 44 billion is kind of a tough judgment from a court. So I think they end up having to work something out. But this is going to be a drama. And Elon kind of likes this stuff. I know, he really does. He's a bit of a drama queen. Yeah. So you do think he wants to buy Twitter. And I just want to ask, uh, before we get to today's 750-point rally, who else, who else would buy Twitter? Nobody. It's not an ongoing concern, basically. Nobody. Um, it doesn't make money. It's been years and years. You know, they didn't participate the last seven, eight years, or every tech company was up huge. Twitter was down from its highs and all that. It's a bad business. And, and I don't say that for political or any of that stuff, though I think those things do. <laughs> It's a bad business. It just doesn't have a really great path to make money. I don't think Elon cared about it as a profit-making deal. He wants to make a point. He wanted to make a I point. I really do. 750 up today on the Dow Jones. Any reason? Rhyme? What's happening? Energy got a big boost. Last couple seconds. Uh, and I think that earnings season so far is looking a little better, better. than some people thought. And um, people not worried about the Federal Reserve anymore? It's just priced in. Anyone who doesn't know, when you see a 100% chance in the futures market that they're raising rates 75 basis points, that the market knows that's going to happen. I want tax cuts and tight money. You, you heard and me, me both? Lunch. Tax cuts and tight money and deregulation. David Bonson, the best of the best. <laughs>